In this video tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to correctly place Velux roof and facade windows in a Revit model. For this example, we will use a standard Velux roof window, type GGU, and a vertical facade window, type VIU. Please note, both windows are coordinated in terms of interior and exterior finishes, polyurethane on the inside and gray aluminum on the outside. We've downloaded the necessary files, the Revit family and the type catalog from the products page on bimobject.com. To begin, we create a simple building model in Revit, featuring a rectangular floor plan and a dual pitch roof. To model a combination of sloped and vertical Velux windows, you can begin with either the roof or the facade component. In this tutorial, we'll start with the roof window. First, we load the GGU family into the project and select the desired variant using the type catalog. The GGU window offers multiple configurations, including different exterior finishes and glazing options. The type catalog allows us to filter and choose the appropriate version efficiently. Once selected, we load the window into the project. Since it's roof hosted, it automatically aligns with the roof geometry. Next, we insert the vertical VIU window using the same method through the type catalog and place it directly into a wall. You can then rotate or adjust its position in plan view as needed. With both windows placed, we switch to an elevation view to align them horizontally. To align them vertically, we create a section view for more precise control. In this section, we select each window and adjust their parameters to ensure proper alignment. For the roof window, we confirm the associated roof in the Properties panel. For the vertical window, we open Type Properties, go to the Dimensions section, and input the correct roof pitch. The facade window includes a reference geometry to assist in aligning it with the sloped window. We can use a detail line from this reference to the roof to guide where the sloped window should be dragged. When moving the sloped window to the eave, Revit will likely break the join between the roof and the wall. As a result, the wall may extend beyond the roof edge. We can fix this by selecting the wall's top edge and aligning it with the roof eave. You can rejoin the roof and wall geometry later once alignment is complete. We return to the section view to fine-tune the alignment between the roof and facade windows. Then, we use a section box to inspect the model interior and prepare to adjust the roof geometry. Since the selected roof window is 1,340 mm wide, the installation opening must be 1,400 mm. We go to a roof plan view, select Edit Footprint, and create a reference line centered on the window. We offset this line by 700 mm to each side, defining the full opening width. When editing the opening, we ensure that the edges are not set to define the roof slope. After confirming the edits, Revit prompts whether the adjacent walls should be reattached to the roof. We accept this prompt to reconnect the wall and roof. The final step is to ensure the opening lining in the roof matches that of the vertical window. We check the side clearance and adjust the roof lines accordingly for a consistent installation detail. At this stage, the sloped and vertical window combination is complete in Revit. For further technical details on this installation method, refer to the Velux Standard Installation Details Configurator or contact our team at vim at velux.com.